everyone. So today we are going to make a basket weave bracelet using just one loom. So most tutorials that I saw uh, are, will require you to use two to three looms for this, but I found a way to use just one loom. And also today we're I'm going to try to talk in the background during this tutorial to guide you and for you to better understand how to make this bracelet because it can be quite challenging uh, looping the bracelet and placing at the bottom to make an extension of the bracelet. So I kind of live in a busy street so if you do hear some noises please don't mind it. So anyway here are the two bracelets that I made and this is the first one that I made and this one you can see that um, you know you would know where I stopped placing the bands and looping the bands and um, I'm not contented with how I made this one but I did figure out a way to make it uh, seamless so you won't be able to tell where I stopped and continued to making the extension of the bracelet so what you will need is a loom and three colors of rubber bands of your choice. So I have just a lavender, a teal or turquoise, and some black or silver metallic bands right there. And you will also need uh, three extra hooks. Now if you don't have extra hooks around, you can also use pencils or pens or even sticks. And you'll also need a stick clip for this one. I don't have it here yet but I'll show it to you later on and of course I will be using uh, the rainbow loom metal hook for this tutorial so we'll get started okay. So we'll start off by placing this uh, silver metallic band at the bottom middle peg to uh, form a V shape. So you'll take it from the middle peg to the left upper peg right there. Take another band, put it at the bottom, middle peg to the right upper peg. So now that you have a V shape, then this is going to be the outer collar of the band as you can see here. What I have here is the white one. So now we're using the silver metallic um, bands for the outer collar. I will just refer to this as the outer collar instead of me saying um, silver metallic over and over again. So it would be much easier for the both of us. Now take a lavender band or any band of your choice and put it at the bottom peg right here on the left side and bring it up to the middle peg right there. This time we're going to create an inverted V shape. So take another band, place it on the bottom right here and pull it up to the middle peg as well. So that's it. middle peg, pouring it up like that, creating another V shape, and bring it here like so. Now you're going to take the third collar that you have, uh, in my case it's a turquoise or teal, and you're going to create another inverted V shape. So you place the band over here second left peg and bring it up to the middle, take another band on the second right peg, bring it up to the middle peg, and there you'll create another inverted V shape. So these two colors will be the colors that's in the middle of the bracelet, and as you can see I have alternating colors. For this bracelet I have um, purple jelly and a pink jelly. So we'll just do the same process until we reach the end of the loop. So I'm not going to go through and talk on 
how it's going to be done. You can just pause the video to guide you on how to correctly do it. And so I'll just start placing the bands like the previous one until I reach the end of the blue. here the outer collar take it bring it to the middle take the right side and bring it to the middle now we're going to start looping this one teal collar or the turquoise
bother you or go around, you know, the bay. And it's just going to make things easier if you just put it here temporarily. So now we're just going to loop again, take the side rubber band or the outer rubber band, bring it to the middle, take the middle band, bring it to the side. That is pretty much the process. You will take the left side outer band first and then the right side outer band first and both of that you will bring to the middle and then take out of the middle bands, bring the first one to the left side and bring the second one to the right side. So we'll just do that until we reach the end of the loop. right there since we're going to extend the bracelet and we'll bring it to the bottom show it to you later on you want to take this right side of the bag I mean right side of the 
put it on this hook. Oh, and you should remember which hooks you put on which bands because that's going to help you later on when you're placing the bands uh, and extensioning the bands and placing the bands at the bottom. So I'm taking this red hook right here, putting it in this left peg. Taking the green one and putting it right here. So, um, like so. so now that we're done doing that, um, you want to take the side bands off the loom. Easier for you to take it out uh, later on. So you just take this and on the side. Like so. I hope the camera is not picking up the noises outside. Okay. And you might just want to take out this one, the back. To reduce the tension from the bands. Now on to the last loose peg on your loom. You want to take your main hook, put it inside a channel, like so. Make sure you get all the bands. Try to pull the bands away. So there you go. That's almost half of your bracelet. See that? Put this aside and we're just going to repeat the process of, loop, um, of placing the bags. Take note of the 
last middle color that she has right here. In my case, it's the lavender. So what you want to do is take uh, the alternating color, which is my, in my case, the teal or turquoise. to you I didn't put any bands right here and I stopped with the teal middle band and that is because as you can see here I stopped with the purple band I'm not gonna put any more outer bands right here so that we can make a seamless pattern for this bracelet because if you put a outer band right there and you start putting this one at the bottom it's gonna come out uh, just like um, this band right here you know which you know you can tell that this is where I stopped and started the hooking process again so just stop with the middle color is the opposite of what you have on your books right here. This is a lavender, so I'm going to stop with the purple one. And now you have to put your loom. And this is where the challenging part comes in. We are going to place all these bands back on the loom on these four pegs. that is kind of important so you would know where to place them. You might want to write it down on a piece of paper so you can take note of the colors of the hook that represents which peg you're going to place them. So we're going to start with the main hook right here, which in my case is the metal hook from Rainbow Loom. And you're going to place it right here on the second peg right there so you have to be careful with this one I have done this a lot of times I didn't get it the first time around I'd say I've done it um, more than five times I don't make any mistakes during the filming of this video. So now I have successfully placed the main hook on the peg right there, second peg from the last one. Now what you're going to do now is place the side band, oh, I'm sorry, the middle bands on the sides right here. This is the most challenging part, I believe, is placing this last hook to this last peg. So what you want to do is pull it like this. Now that's it's in there, you want to place all this bands that's on the hook onto this last peg. So now I have that in place. Or loose ends of the bands here. We're just gonna start looping it again. So we're just gonna start with the looping process by taking these bottom bands right here, which is a middle color.
So you just want to take uh, this band right here, and it's the one that fits at the bottom. And you just want to put that on. Oops. Um, it's better to use a good brand this one because there's going to be a lot of tension for the band so just bring this band to here Good indicator that you're doing the right thing is when you are you have um, teardrop forming while you're looping the band, so that means you're doing it correctly. Now, I'm taking this one, sticking up, sticking. 
Taking it to the side. Putting it there.
Now before you pull this off the loom, take your outer collar band and we're going to slide it here and here. Make sure that you, you have all the bands there. So you'll have something like this. Grab this one over and you will have a slip knot. So now we're just going to pull this off the loom. So there you have your basket weave bracelet. So now you want to attach your C hooks. Just grab all these bands. You should have four of them. So there you have it, your basket weave bracelet. Make sure to try out different colors and you know it's great for summer. 